This is a video about the RAS, RAF, and MAP kinase pathway. This pathway is part of the mitogenic cascade, an essential cascade which takes part in the cell cycle. Here we see the cell surface, the cytosol, the nucleus, the DNA, receptor tyrosine kinase in its inactive form, we see June and we see FOS. First step is binding of growth factors into the receptor tyrosine kinase. After the binding, receptor tyrosine kinase undergoes autophosphorylation. Now we see GRB2 with its SH2 and SH3 domain. GRB2 binds to the autophosphorylated receptor. Now we see SOS. SOS will bind to the SH3 domain of GRB2. Here we see RAS. RAS right now is in its inactivated state because it's bound to GDP. We need to replace this GDP with GTP in order to activate RAS. It can be done by SOS. So SOS moves and activates RAS. Now we can see RAF. RAF is being activated by RAS and then in turn it will activate MEK which is a MAP kinase kinase. MEK is being phosphorylated by RAF and then it moves to ERK which is a MAP kinase and phosphorylates it. ERK moves to the nucleus where it's phosphorylates June and FOS. The dimer induces transcription of cyclin D1.